Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Quran Weekly. This is Abdul Nasir Jangda with another Ramadan pro tip. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in a very deep, profound hadith, Ni'matani maghbunun fihi ma kathiru min al nas. That there are two blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that many people are the envy of other people when it comes to these two things. And they are as sihhatu wal faragh. That is health and the luxury of time. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ, where he tells us to take advantage of five before five, he talks, one of the very important points there are faragika qabla shughlika, that take advantage of the luxury of time before you become so preoccupied that that luxury is taken away, that blessing is taken away from you. So time is a very, very important blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The month of Ramadan, which is the best of times, it is really, really important for us to make sure that we are managing that time properly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهُمْ لَا يَسَّخِرُونَ سَاعَ وَلَا يَسَّقْدِمُونَ Time is such a valuable thing that Allah says He will not give a second more, nor will He give a second less to anyone than the time that was allocated to them. So time is very extremely valuable. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us that structuring your time is very, very important to being productive and to being beneficial to yourself and to others as well. That's why Allah says in the salah, even the prayer times are fixed and spread out throughout the day to make our day as productive as possible. So this Ramadan, make sure you sit down and write out a detailed schedule for yourself. Be as detailed as possible. And a little bit of uh, advice from somebody who's been there, done that. Make sure that you make the difference between your weekday schedule and your weekend schedule because those two things are very different for working folks, right? On the weekday, obviously, you have a lot less time and on the weekend you have more time but if you don't differentiate between your Saturday Sunday schedule versus your Monday through Friday schedule you will waste time on Saturday and Sunday so make sure you write out a detailed schedule know exactly how many iftar get-togethers or iftar parties that you're going to and if need be limit some of those uh, situations so that you can dedicate more time to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but set aside time another thing that I recommend in this regard is when it comes to reading Quran which is something people try to schedule and structure during Ramadan. Don't do it based off of how much you're going to read, but do it for how long you're going to read and then focus on quality over quantity. So divvy up your time, divide up your time and write it down. As you know, I've always heard the expression in the phrase that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So if you don't have a proper plan written down from before, you are setting yourself up for failure and for wasting time and that's something you're going to regret when the month of Ramadan ends. So make sure you sit down today and write out a schedule. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Quran Weekly and share the video with family and friends. I'll see you all next time. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.